Hey guys, Sick Fit Mama, and I want to share with you one of my favorite things to do when it is bear spring season. Right now we are scouting, so we're not hunting. Um, <clears throat> our season opens April 15th, and so we like to make sure we're able to bait where we are. We want to make sure we can get to our bait location. A lot of times it can be snowed in, but as you can see, it's beautiful up here and sunny, and luckily there's no snow. So we're going to be able to have no issues as long as we stay in these warmer temperatures. But with that being said, everything is super saturated, obviously from the winter and the runoff. And so the stumps here are soggy for the most part. And so what we'll do is we'll bring our bow and we'll put some judos on our arrows and we will call out stumps as we are trekking along and it's called stump shooting. Come and let me show you. All right, so one of the main differences that you're gonna have is these are what your tips are gonna look like. Um, depending on the type of arrow you shoot, most are gonna have just screw-in tips like this, and you can just unscrew them, verify the diameter of them, but these judos look just like this. So they have these springs on the outside. Some of them will actually retract, some don't, and then you can kind of see like this one has taken a beaten it's kind of flattened out but what this does is it makes it so if you have to think this is just going to bury into the ground especially if it's soft and saturated meaning if it's too close you could potentially just bury an arrow this will catch any type of brush and debris and it makes it so it doesn't uh, burrow so a lot of times if it's um like saturated enough this will actually stick into the wood but if you miss it's going to catch in the brush or whatever you're shooting against where this would most likely just bury that's the main reason we do it so i will just stick them on these come in different grains as well so this one is 100 grain just like the tip that i just removed so i know it will fly just the same and i'm just going to screw it in bada bing bada boom so now we've got two arrows ready to go i honestly recommend just because they can get you know depending on what they hit they kind of take a little bit more of a beating sometimes. So I always like to find arrows that are bright and easy to find still. And then ones that aren't <clears throat> like your pretty ones as much ones that you're okay with getting beat up a little bit. So well, let me go bring you along. I should also mention when you're shooting with littles, they don't, if you've seen Bradley, like for the most part, his arrow doesn't fly fast enough with his little nine pound bow. So I'm not going to put a judo on his. His has these little, like, they don't stick into much anyway, uh, tips on them. This is, he doesn't use th these ones anymore because they don't stick into the foam and then he has a meltdown. But these are going to be perfect for shooting stumps if he, I mean, of course he'll hit them. Hey guys, be an athlete and come stump shoot. Back. <laughs> All right, you're gonna stump the big one. All right, stay right here. What? Remember, we can't get too close because if it comes back, it'll hit us. Yep. All right. Why is that just so easy? Because they won't stick. Oh, fix your body. What? Good job. Perfect. Anchor point. Yeah, you hit the stump. Ooh, ooh. Point. Yes, you did. How about you pick a stump right here? What? Which stump do you want to hit? The big one. Okay. Nope, oh, you got to hit a stump. Can I try again? Yep, of course. Okay. Yeah! Hey, it yeah, you did. Go get it. The other really cool thing about stump shooting with kiddos is it builds confidence like crazy because. Like they might not actually even hit exactly where they're aiming, but they're aiming for a big target. And if they come anywhere close, they take it as a win. So it helps them really gain the confidence. Whereas when they're shooting like a small animal, they know where they're supposed to be hitting. And if they miss, I don't know about you guys, but my little guy just like shuts down. And so this is kind of a great way. It builds awesome confidence and it, it's so much fun. So here's a perfect example of like how a judo stuck. This one is really hollow and dead. So, although it did stick into it, it just kind of 
the force just hit it but that's it that's all that happened no damage it's hard to focus <laughs> And you're gonna fix your body. You're gonna be on an elevation, okay? There you go. Yep, get situated. Yeah! Oh, me. oh you wanna go get it and try again? Yeah. Okay. So it might build confidence, but it also seems to enrage them a little bit. I guess in this case he can go walk to his arrow and think about what he's done until he comes back. You find it? Yep. I told you. Oh, wait. Good job. Okay, point it to the ground and walk down the hill. Okay. No, because Bradley, if it hits it, it will bounce back and it will hit you, and we're not doing that today. Like this? That will work. Okay, fix your body. Yeah! <laughs> you got that one, huh? So a lot of people will say, well, I want to get into archery, but I don't have any money to afford targets. And I live really out in the middle of nowhere. So I don't have the option of going into a club or going to a range. Well, this is a perfect example of having things to shoot. If you live on property or you live close to state land or you have this opportunity, you could buy yourself two, you know, $7 judos and Make as many targets as you want for free. All right, Bradley, same one. What? Are you same one? Boom! Boom! It sticks in there. Yeah, now. let's go get our arrows. What is this? So, once again, it sounded really solid. You could see this is where I hit, this is where my husband just hit, but it's dead. So, it just comes right out and no damage. These judos are super fun and a super great alternative for shooting. Bye! <laughs> Thanks for shooting with us, you guys, and I really hope you get the opportunity to experience stump shooting. Let me know in the comments if you do, and if you like this video, please like and subscribe.